Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso right here on SABC3. Thank you for choosing to start your Wednesday morning with us. Now, the new World Sevens Rugby Series kicked off in style this past weekend where our Blitzbocker got their world title defence off to a winning start with a win in Dubai. Now, this weekend, the Blitzbocker will look to continue their winning, uh, winning run as uh, the series makes a, way, a turn here in South Africa for the always spectacular Cape Town Sevens. Now, with his view on how this weekend's tournament will play out, we are joined this morning by Blitzbooker rugby player Dylan Say. Dylan, lovely to have you, my brother. How are you doing? Yeah, good yourself. Cool, man. We are very, very proud of the team, man. The Blitzbooker always just representing, going out there with so much heart as well. Um, the team did phenomenally well in uh, Dubai, and it's always such a vibe when it comes to the sevens as well. Um, what was it like, um, you know, for the team, from what you've heard, from the other players as well? How did Dubai turn out? Yeah, well, great start to the season. I think the way we wanted to start. Um, no, the guys were a bit shaken the first, the first game, first few, you know, first few minutes. But they got into their stride, and it's a great way to start the season for us. Absolutely, and they picked up that momentum, and Absolutely. they just started. Uh, Sabella Sanatla as well, doing fantastic work, yeah. try after try as well. Brilliant stuff. No, definitely we can be proud of our Blitzbooker. Let's talk about the culture that um, you guys have. You know that we don't get to see behind the screens. Um, behind the doors, in the locker rooms, what is it like to be a part of the Blitzbooker team? What is that culture all about? Yeah, I think it's just a, a bunch of guys that enjoy each other's company. I think that kind of shows in the field, you know. Um, I just got asked a question the other day, and I think it's just like I said, it's, we're just good people and we enjoy being around each other. And um, you know, there's no one I don't like in the team. You know, we all <laughs> we're all good mates, and you can call him around for a coffee anytime. So I think yeah. that, that shows in the field. I mean, there's obviously a lot of competitiveness when it comes to this format of the game, but it's nice to know that within the team, it's like a brotherhood. You know, there's yeah. no, you know, you know, you're not trying to outshine any, any other player. For sure, I think internal competition helps a lot. Though. I think it drives performance. Yeah. So as much as we're all mates off the field, we still want to, you know, do well on the field, and that internal competition sort of. Yeah. Uh, gets the best out of us. Yeah, now, now, now we know it's uh, the Blitzbooker, like I've mentioned, um, puts a lot of heart in their performances. Let's quickly focus on the box. We've had a bit of a, a tough run um, <laughs> over the past of while. Now with the World Cup just two years away, I can't believe this year is just two years away from now. Say. What do you make? What do you think needs to happen? Can they turn things around? There's nothing I can comment too much about it. I mean, 15s and 7s are two different yeah. sports, so I feel like I can't say too much about it. But I think they... They'll be all right. They've got a fantastic amount of players in South Africa, and um, you know the culture's being built there. Um, the guys are one of the regular players, and might just be a little, a little dark patch now, but they will, will come out of it. And I'm looking forward to the World Cup in 2019. Yeah, man, it's going to yeah. be amazing. Um, it's going to be great to see the the nation unite again, Absolutely. you know, behind the box as yeah. well. So, so this weekend, a very, very big one for the Blitzbooker, the Cape Town uh, leg of the World Seven Series. It's going to be phenomenal. What do you make of going into the Cape Town leg? Because you've won it four out of three times now as well, uh, or three out of four times, sorry. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough competition. What do you, who do you think is going to pose probably the biggest threat for you guys? Well, I think there's you know, 16 teams in the circuit that all pose a bit of a threat. I think um, you know, Fiji look really good, New Zealand look good from last week. Um, England are always a threat. They won here last year, so they're going to be up for it. So I think it'll be a, a tough weekend for the guys, but obviously we always get up for the, for the home tournament. That's yeah. a special one that you, that you have, you know, playing in front of your home crowd. So you know, the guys are excited. I saw them on Monday. They all seem pretty calm and chilled out, but yeah. they can see they're anxious for the weekend. Yeah. So I think it'll be a good one. And I mean, taking a look at the sevens and the fans that go there, I mean, how much of, of, of you know of a plus point does home ground advantage give the team? No, 100%. It's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a massive advantage. And it's, a, it's a big party for two, for two days. People get around us. Um, but yeah, having your home fans and your family, your friends all around cheering for you is something special. Absolutely. Dylan, thank you very much for joining thank us. You. And to you and the rest of the team as well, all the best. I mean, make us proud. I know that you guys will <laughs> as well. And uh, like Dylan says, it's, it's a massive party. The Sevens is definitely something phenomenal. So if you are around, go out and support our boys in green and gold.